Let's be honest, nothing's more frustrating than looking at your compost pile and realising it's just sitting there. You've got all the right ingredients, kitchen scraps, grass clippings, dried leaves, and yet months later it's still a soggy, cold mess that refuses to turn into that rich, dark humus we all love. Every serious gardener knows the disappointment of a cold pile, but here's the thing, your compost isn't dead. It's just missing the one additive that kick-starts the natural heat cycle and keeps the microbes working at full speed. That additive is nitrogen and, when added correctly through alfalfa meal, or its simpler counterpart, fresh alfalfa pellets, your compost can heat up like a furnace, naturally and sustainably. The real reason your compost isn't heating up, composting is a biological process. What fuels it isn't magic, it's a balanced diet for microbes. These decomposers need three main things, carbon, browns, nitrogen, greens and moisture. The problem is most home composters pile up more carbon-rich materials, just like dried leaves, sawdust or straw, than nitrogen-rich ones. When the ratio is off, the pile becomes sluggish. It might look neat, but inside it's biologically underfed. The microbes can't multiply, so no heat builds up. A cold pile is simply a pile that's carbon-heavy and nitrogen-poor. Microbes need nitrogen to reproduce and break down organic matter efficiently. Without it, decomposition crawls, especially in cool weather. The fix isn't just more green waste, it's a targeted source of plant-based nitrogen that releases steadily without burning out the microbial community. Why alfalfa is the secret weapon for natural heat? Alfalfa, yes, the same crop farmers grow for livestock feed, is one of the best compost activators you can use. It's naturally high in nitrogen, about 25 to 3% by weight, rich in trace minerals and loaded with triacontinol, a natural plant growth stimulant that also fuels microbial activity. When added to your compost, alfalfa acts like rocket fuel for the decomposers. Unlike synthetic nitrogen additives like urea, alfalfa feeds the microbes gently and evenly. It doesn't spike the temperature dangerously or sterilize the pile. Instead, it creates a steady, natural rise in heat, often bringing cold piles from 60 degrees to 140 degrees Fahrenheit within a few days, depending on size and moisture levels. If you've ever used alfalfa meal in garden beds, you already know how potent it is. In compost, the effect is magnified. The meal's fine texture allows for quick microbial access, while the pellets break down a bit slower, ideal if you want a sustained heat cycle. How to apply alfalfa meal correctly for rapid heating? Let's get practical. The general carbon to nitrogen ratio for active composting should hover around 30 to 1. Most kitchen and garden waste piles end up closer to 50 to 1, which honestly is just too carbon heavy. Alfalfa brings that number down into the sweet spot. For a 1 cubic meter or 3 by 3 by 3 foot compost pile, here's a proven approach. First, start by layering your browns dried leaves, shredded paper, straw or wood shavings about 8 to 10 inches thick. Next, add a layer of greens, kitchen scraps, grass clippings or garden trimmings about 4 to 6 inches thick. Then, sprinkle 2 to 3 cups of alfalfa meal per square foot of surface area or about 3 pounds per cubic yard if you're using pellets. Lightly moisten each layer as you build. The moisture level should feel like a wrung out sponge, not dripping wet. Once the pile is built, give it a good turn to mix in oxygen and distribute the alfalfa evenly. Within 48 hours, you'll notice a rise in temperature when you insert your compost thermometer. If you don't have one, it's worth investing in, as it's the gardener's lie detector. The pile will continue to heat for several days, sometimes reaching 150 degrees Fahrenheit before cooling slightly. 
So, when the temperature drops below 100 degrees Fahrenheit, you'll want to turn the pile again and, if it seems necessary, just add a light top-up of alfalfa, about one cup per square foot. This helps keep the microbes fed and happy. The signs that alfalfa is working properly are actually pretty clear. When the additive kicks in, your compost will start transforming rather quickly. You'll notice a warm, earthy smell, rather than that sour, anaerobic odour. And you might even see steam rising from the centre when you turn it, a sure sign that microbial metabolism is in full swing. After about two weeks, those large chunks of organic material begin to soften and darken. For folks in cooler climates or anyone working with smaller piles that just struggle to heat up, alfalfa can really make all the difference. It could mean the difference between compost that's ready in two months versus waiting half a year, honestly. It's the microbial equivalent of a high-energy breakfast. It keeps the system active even when outdoor conditions cool down. Don't confuse heat with speed. Maintaining balance is key. A common mistake gardeners make is assuming more alfalfa equals faster compost. That's only true to a point. Too much nitrogen can make your pile slimy and smelly. Stick to moderation. About 3% nitrogen content overall is the golden rule. If your pile ever starts to stink like ammonia, it's a sign to add more carbon or dry material to rebalance. Also, always turn your pile every 7 to 10 days during the hot phase. This keeps oxygen flowing, distributes heat evenly, and prevents clumping. Alfalfa works best in a well-aerated, moist environment. It's not a magic fix for a suffocated or bone-dry pile. Using what you already have, like alfalfa pellets, rabbit feed, or even tea, can be really handy. If you can't find alfalfa meal, you can use alfalfa pellets or even rabbit feed, which often contains pure alfalfa. Just soak the pellets in warm water overnight until they soften, then mix them into your compost as you build or turn it. Another trick is to brew an alfalfa tea, one cup of meal or pellets soaked in five gallons of water for about 24 hours. Then pour this liquid over a slow pile to jumpstart activity. It's fast, effective, and honestly, a great way to rehydrate compost that's been sitting just a bit too long. The bottom line, feed your microbes and they'll feed your garden. Composting isn't just about recycling waste, it's really about cultivating life in the soil. When you use alfalfa as your natural nitrogen source, you're not just heating up a pile, you're optimizing a biological engine that will, you know, fuel your entire garden. A few pounds of alfalfa can save you months of waiting, eliminate odour issues and produce humus so rich it looks like dark coffee grounds. So the next time your compost goes cold, don't toss in synthetic activators or give up. Just reach for alfalfa. Feed your microbes right and they'll reward you with nutrient-rich compost that brings your garden to life. If this guide helped you understand what really drives compost heat, Subscribe to Hydro Haven, drop a like and share this with a fellow gardener who's been struggling with slow compost. Let's keep the soil alive, naturally.